from the lowest level of the patience. They don't even understand from the lowest level of the destiny. They're only patient if it's not touching them. Once it touches them, they become very impatient. They only know how to blame destiny if something wrong happens to them. To blame Allah. But they never blame themselves. That's why a jamaat is important. Darga is important. A person may think he's the most patient one, but it's not until he is here in the darga that you actually know where your patience is, which level it's at. You think you're so accepting of destiny, anything that happens, but until you are in a darga, in a jamaat, that's going to test that, you will never know. It's just a theory to you. So what is our Shaykh teaching us about patience? Impatience comes from shaitan. Patience is not just to sit and to wait. Patience is to sit and to watch and to think and to calculate when you are waiting. So it is not empty time. It is a very full time. Somebody makes you upset. First stage you may say, okay, don't get upset. Maybe second time, you're going to pull yourself out a little bit and you're going to say, oh, person is saying this to me. Why am I getting upset? Right when it's happening, you're going to ask, why am I getting upset? Maybe third time, third phase, you're going to say when a person does something like that, you immediately you know what is the next step that you have to take. You're no longer thinking, you become active. There may be next time you already know that this person will be upset with you and you already know how to move before it happens. At time people will say, wow, you have special powers. I says, no. For some people, when they enter into the town, then they look and they see, oh, this is a town. For some people, hmm, when they enter into the gates of the town, they say, oh, this is a town. They know. For some people, when they see the minaret, Nothing else, but they just see a minaret from a long distance. They say, this is a town. So with these things too, you can see it a mile coming. Your heart will start buzzing. Zzz, this is going to happen. You've gone through this before. This is going to happen. Avoid it. This is when the instinct, huh? it kicks in. Your spiritual instinct, it kicks in. Your spiritual instinct, not your nafsani instinct, not your egoistic instinct, your spiritual instinct that Allah has put into each and every one of us. Because it is so covered and piled up with the ego, you remove it layer by layer, then you're going to find it. So, The level that we are at, we take that ayat saying to know that whatever bad that is happening to us, it is coming from our ego. Whatever good that is happening to us, it is coming from Allah. That is enough until judgment day for us. No need to know so much with this. Last question, say. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. What can a murid do when they sometimes feel like their hizmet is too heavy?